Hey everyone, it's Jared with Up North Tactics here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a Kydex cheek riser. Now basically all this really is, is a small piece of plastic and uh, I believe it's just a guy, I'll put the link in my description down below. Uh, I believe it's just a guy off of Amazon that does these himself. Um, they're awesome, they're really lightweight, they work absolutely great. This is usually the one that's on my 22250. But for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of being able to pull this off one off my 22 to 50 and put it on my little 22, my model 64, that's what I'm going to be doing. So guys, this here is the hardware for our Kydex cheek riser. These are usually a little bit longer and uh, typically you'll cut them down after they've been installed. These are your um, adjustable knobs and obviously your cheek riser itself. Now this one itself is made for uh, a better fit for say a Savage Axis or like my 111 uh, or my uh, my 11TR, anything like that. But it will fit a variety of models. Now before you order, you have to make sure you measure to check what size one you need exactly. Okay everyone, so this is all you're really gonna need. You're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need a drill bit to accommodate for the size of the bolts. You're going to need a little bit of tape and you're going to need something to mark your holes with. Alright everyone, so you're going to want to test fit this before you go ahead with this and make sure you know where you want it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it where I need it and I'm going to take some hockey tape. Usually I use masking tape but I currently don't have any. And you're going to want to try and basically roughly secure the position of where you want your cheek riser to stay. So now once you have your tape on here you can go ahead and mark your holes. Now, the reason why I have the tape on here, I'll show you right now. Because now this keeps it in an exact position. So I'm going to flip it over. And now, I'm going to mark the other side. So instead of trying to drill through the whole entire way, with one attempt and hoping that it's symmetrical and comes out the other side perfectly. You can do this and you make four individual holes. I'll show you in a second. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes here. Now being a savage, this should be completely hollow. But I could be very wrong. Looks like I am. But I am perfect on this one. The back, I know, is for sure hollow. And if it's not, I know it's hollow here. <laughs> so there we are. We have our four symmetrical holes. So now at this point guys, we can go ahead and install our cheek riser and our hardware. Now you can have these facing whatever way you want. Seeing as I shoot from my right hand, I'm going to put them in from the right hand side. Okay, so now once you have those through, 
you're going to want to make sure that they're going to be aligned properly. And then once they're aligned properly, you can go ahead and screw these on. And now like I had said, you're going to need to cut your bolts down a little bit to fit your rifle perfectly. So it's probably going to sit a little bit higher than I would normally have it. Or sorry, it'll probably fit sit a little bit farther out than I would normally have it. Okay guys, so once you have that done, basically you can go ahead and position your cheek riser exactly where you need it to be. And then once you're done that, simply hold it in place and crank it down. So anyways guys, there we are. We have our Kydex cheek riser installed. Everything's tightened. Not only does it look super cool, it's extremely functional, durable, and light. I'd really recommend it, and it usually looks great on almost any gun, especially a real aggressive setup with a big scope, a bipod, anything like that, just like my 22250. Like I said, I'll put the link in the comments below, or the description below, sorry, and you guys can go check it out for yourself, or maybe you've been wondering about buying it for a little while now. Do it. So anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.